Now you got to understand, I understand that there's a hell of a lot more important things going on in the world, but my channel's a gaming channel. I just talk about gaming stuff, maybe reviews, you know, talking about newly announced stuff, just whatever interests me and I think may interest you. And sometimes we do rant and ramble about some ridiculousness. And lately I've been talking about analog. I did a video a while back with where I was like, hey, are these fools scamming their customers? And I mean, I'm not leaving no gray area about it. I think they are because there's just so much weirdness going on. Okay, they had the glow in the dark analog pockets go up. They sold out in like two minutes. Either you got one or you didn't. Eventually they will put up the regular editions again if you want one, right? But the, the one big thing was it's like, okay, they have all this other stuff in stock. All the uh, the the cables, the screen protectors, the case, like accessories are in stock. There's a lot of things that are in stock that you can order and they're shipped within 24 to 48 hours, which is boo booness too, because I, I had an order for another dock. I just wanted to get another dock just in case it was in stock. Like whatever, grab an extra one, and uh, you know they shipped it and it's been sitting. the 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 carrier is not in possession of it, so I know 24 to 48 hours, nothing like that. But I'm not even tripping on that. I'm not even concerned with that. My concern was with this uh, shipping services where they started offering economy and priority. So I have orders where I paid for priority. There's orders where I paid for economy. I have three pending orders right now. I haven't received anything. I might receive my pocket glow in the dark soon, but I'm not sure. But that was one that I brought up. I paid for priority. But these asshats, they shipped it through OSM Worldwide, which to me... It's strange because this company, they took the package from Compton, California, and this multiple packages from me. They took it from Compton, California, went all the way to Nevada. I'm in California, not like right next to Compton or anything, but close enough where I could have drove down there and already had the damn thing, like an hour, hour and a half away. Uh, but it went to Nevada, sat out there, came back, and that's how a couple of my orders are. So the pocket, I paid for priority. According to them, Analog offers two service levels. For, this is in their FAQ for in-stock items within the U.S. Priority and economy. Priority shipping is handled by a single carrier. UPS, FedEx, or DHL has a transit time of two to three days. Not a handling time. They could just ship it and just sit on it for a week. Who knows? Economy shipping is a handoff service where the last mile is handled by the local postal service has a transit time of seven to ten days. Economy shipping is not available for pre-order items outside of the U.S., UPS, FedEx, and DHL. There's people who like pre-ordered the, the the pocket glow in the dark who are outside the U.S. and it was shipped from the U.S. to them and they've already received it. But you know, a lot of us who are in the U.S. haven't received them yet because instead of uh, sticking to the priority shipping that a lot of us chose to pay for extra, they went with economy. And some people out there in the comments and on Twitter and whatnot. I don't know what's between their ears and their head, but they do, the comprehension's not really a, a, a high point for them. It's not about the shipping cost. It's about the service that you paid for. We all know analog is profiting off of shipping. I don't give two shits what they say in their FAQ. They say, while these shipping services may result in a shipping cost that's higher than the cheapest services available, they reflect the quality, service, and values of analog. To me... If they reflect the quality, service, and values of analog, then the quality, service, and values of analog's got to be fucking in the gutter, dude. Because to ship things the opposite of what you paid for, the lower end stuff, OSM for something I paid priority, and I'm not the only one. I'm seeing tons of people where analog did the same damn thing, and they take forever. I had a package. I had a package, right? Let me show you some some uh, tweets here. So I've been complaining. I also emailed analog. I'm not. Like, I don't just tweet and think companies going to respond to me. They typically don't. Analog doesn't respond to anybody. But I did email them a while ago. No response about how, like, they should owe me a partial refund. Other people as well for paying for priority but then shipping economy. That's scummy. That's that's scam behavior right there. I, they did respond to me once. Maybe I'm one of the only people they ever responded to. I don't know. But way back, like, a few years ago, I posted a short clip of the... Uh, Floppy slot syndrome on the NT Mini Noir. A lot of people didn't understand. They just, you're not supposed to touch the cartridge. No shit. No shit. But people were having an issue. It was just showing like, hey, look at how floppy this is. Oh, analog responds to me because, you know, for whatever reason, you're not supposed to touch the cartridge. No crap, dude. No crap. Right. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the thing is funny 
is like I have multiple packages. And if if you know, I don't know, did they post that in here about route? Yeah, the we have partnered with Route, a service that protects against loss, packages, theft, damages, and more. And you get it at no cost. It it costs like a couple bucks. They're pay I seen like the charge for it um just last night, what they're paying, like two dollars, some odd cents or something. Or at least that's what Route's charging, I believe, charging them for like a hundred dollar order. Or so that's what I saw. Um, and I'll explain in a second, but I think there's a, a, a scammy thing going on with that too, because now Route's ensuring that Analog's not losing any money. If you have a problem, essentially they sold customer support to Route. They don't want to deal with you. If you have a problem with your delivery, contact Route. You have no choice. They gave you Route insurance for free. That could be a good thing in some people's eyes, could be a bad thing in others. I don't know. However you want to look at it, but I think it all plays into this like, hey, we're going to use this shitty ass uh, service that may not deliver your package. I have a package sitting with OSM economy. It's it's with some cable screen protector that I paid for economy shipping. I didn't pay for priority. I paid economy on that one because I figured it's just cables. A big deal. Shouldn't take too long. And, uh, you know, not that worried about it. But the pocket, it was like, I want to get that as soon as possible. You know, that type of thing. No third party, party carrier. But that's they decided to go against what I paid for. And plenty of other people. But this route, they sold off customer service. They're using the shitty service. So what happened was, is I, I don't know why, like last night, it was late last night. I was just like, hey, this damn order with the screen protectors and cables that I got from uh, Analog, they it moved around. It did the same thing. It went from Compton and Nevada back to like California. And it's just been sitting there for over a week. No movement at all. I'm like, let me click that route thing. Because I've never used route before. I clicked route and I, I filled in the thing. It really didn't require much. It was just like, what's going on? You have a shipping problem? Click yes. Uh, it's it's just been sitting around. I haven't gotten it. Like, look at the tracking. I don't know what's going on with this package. That's all I put is like, hey, it's been sitting in the same spot for seven days. It's been shipped well before then, but it's been sitting in the same spot for over seven days. Route, like, hey, hey, it's our pleasure to inform you that we just completed your replacement order. All costs covered by us. And it's protected by routes again. So I got this email and I got an order email from uh, uh, Analog for a replacement order of these cables. That's great. Like I said in my tweet, that's cool, I guess, for in-stock items. But like if it's for the pocket glow-in-the-dark, are they going to replace that? I don't know. Do they have extras? Who knows? To cover this kind of thing? Because, it, okay, say this package is lost. It never arrives. It doesn't matter if it arrives to me or not. Analog doesn't give a shit that they're sending out another order. They got paid for it because route coverage covered it. So them using this OSM who have their heads up their asses and sit on packages for a week or two doesn't do anything with them. I don't know what the hell they're doing with these packages. So many people are like, it's been sitting. I ordered this and it's been sitting forever. It's not moving. What's going on with this OSM? I think this is a big old circle jerk of like, hey, we're going to force route. Nobody has to pay for it. But that $2, oh man, we're going we're gonna to send through the worst service. Even if you pay for priority, we're going to slip some orders through the, the worst one. Maybe they get lost. Maybe this company never delivers them. They're, I don't know, somebody jacks them. Who knows? They just don't make it. But we got paid anyway. And we don't have to deal with customer service. The, the customer has to deal with a different company. And then that company will come to a conclusion. Hey, we'll replace it. And then route, we'll pay analog for another order. That's just the way it is. I'm questioning what the hell's going on here. Like, I I like Analog's products. And I had some knuckleheads like, you knew what you were getting yourself into. No, stop being fucking stupid. I'm not complaining about the price. The price sucks. We knew that the price of the shipping sucks. I don't expect like a dollar shipping or free shipping from these people. I, I expect whatever service that I select, like I see the service, economy or priority, I choose at that moment, Am I fine paying these inflated costs? Because they are inflated. They're profiting off of it, 100%. I look at it, fuck it, I'll do it, whatever. At that point, I don't care about the price anymore. It sucks, I paid for it, but I expect the service that I paid for. Bottom line, I have so many people in the comments and on Twitter who are freaking idiots. You knew this was going to happen. No, why are you complaining about the shipping? You knew it was expensive. I would have to pay even more to get it in a different country. Stop. That's not what the point is. The point is, is that they're not shipping 
by the way that they're talking on their website, what you're paying for is ridiculous. I, that's it. I just wanted to rant and ramble about this bullshit. Analog doesn't respond to emails. They don't respond to anything. Just deal with route. Maybe you'll get your money back. Maybe you'll get a replacement. Who knows? Bunch of boo-boo-ness. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.